I went from strict to strict door, strict. Understand? Only person I owe is myself. Strict door. Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to my channel. Big Stricto here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, whatever it is that these other YouTubers tell you to do, but do it for me. Damn, I'm still recovering from yesterday, man. I think I must have watched that clip over a million times. I watched it when I woke up. I watched it just before I went to bed. Like, I, 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 can't, I, 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 I can't believe it. I'm still in shock what a game yesterday what a game if aliens were to come into this planet and ask us what football is you gotta show them that game that game is top of the list let them understand what the what football is really about yesterday the agony the joy and the ecstasy i was out of emotions yesterday i ran out of emotions because I, I must have spent all my emotions yesterday i'm telling you I came into the game, I missed the first goal. I didn't even know they scored. I come in, I sat down watching the game and, and the, the person next to me, her name's Nan, she goes to me, oh, you missed a wonderful goal. So I've looked at the scoreboard and I've seen 1-0 to Bournemouth. I'm like, huh? Confused. I was like, when, when did they score? Because when I was coming up, I, when I come into the stadium, I didn't hear no noise, no, nothing. She goes, oh, they, like, within nine seconds. Nine seconds? What? What? Nine? How? Was it a mistake? Like, was it straight from kickoff? Like, straight into the... Yeah, nine seconds. So, I came in there 1-0 down already. Yeah. And, and yeah. And expecting, as we do, you know, that we are going to score at some point. This is Bournemouth. This is Bournemouth. Like, before the game started, I was already like, yeah, this is our opportunity to build our goal defence. Because you see Bournemouth... Every time I've watched them play, they have bent over. That is that is what I know of Bournemouth. They bent over. They done it against uh, uh, Tottenham. They done it against Liverpool. Then Liverpool pumped them like nine 0 or something like that. And they done it against City like last week. So I was like, you know what? This is our chance to build our goal difference. Ha! Huh. I'm coming and I'm seeing our our goal difference being destroyed. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? How? How? And that's the thing. That's the thing with these teams. Like they, they, they quick to lie down for every other team. But when they come to Arsenal, they want to stand up and be doing big boys. Want to be doing tough guys when they come to the Emirates. I hate. I really, really. Oh, I hate that shit. But you know what? Our quality. I will never say that attitude. You see, let me tell you something. Yeah. When I, whenever I do my fan cams, yeah, you lot need to understand. It's in real time. It's not now where I'm sat down, now I'm a lot composed. I've watched footages back. I've, you know, I've listened to various different opinions and so forth. So now I'm, I, I can speak more calm and more level-headed. Like I'm in real time when I do my fan cam. Do you know what I'm saying? And when, by the time it comes out, the viewers, you guys, have already processed what has happened. So, yeah, so... You're only getting me in real time. You're not getting this composed guy right now, you know. But I'll I'll say this: this team, this squad, I am still learning about them. Their limits or their lack of limits. I'm st I'm still literally every game is new. I I know this club. I do not know this team. So a lot of my frustrations are at the club. But it sounds like it's at the team because it's the team that's playing. But like I said, if you've been an Arsenal fan like me for, for how many years I've been I've been a fan, 
you suffer with PTSD. You really do. And what P PTSD does is born doubt, resentment, confusion, and all these other weird, angry, you, you can call it... You can call it negative. I don't call it negative. I just think it's real. Like, I don't... I just think it's real. Do you understand? Like I said, when it goes out, when the content goes out, it's in real time. So it's not negative and it's not positive. It's just real. Do you get me? And that's... That's... How, that's... that's. I'm generally not a negative person. I mean, um, in some aspects, you know, I, I, I'm... What's the What's the word? I'm not optimist, neither am I a pessimist. I'm maybe just in the middle. It depends on the situation. Do you understand? But I'm still getting to learn this team. Their traits. Their traits. Like, I'm seeing things that I haven't seen enough in this club in years. In years. If you think about that that year that Leicester won the league and we had that game against um, Le um, Leicester at, at the Emirates when Danny Welbeck scored and you think to yourself, this is it. But if you really think about it, we only achieved that moment once in that season, that Danny Welbeck goal, that last minute goal that, that gave you that feeling. But if you look at it this season, that moment has been nearly every game. Adversity. Nearly every game. And not only are we conquering it, we are bulldozing it. Like, it's become such a trait now that you you almost expect it now. 2-0 down. 2-0 down. I was in shock. I got up and put my hand on my head like this. I, I was in shock. For like for like a minute or two. I, I was the only one standing my hand on hand on my head like this like what is going on? And that PTSD just kicks in of the years gone 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 by when you put yourself in a in a great position. And you fuck it up. And I'm not saying that's not going to happen or whatever. But what I'm saying is the the trade in this team, even if we don't win the league, even if, even if we don't win the league, God forbid, yeah, the feeling this team has given me this season, I will cherish for the rest of my life. Reese Nelson, that feeling, Reese Nelson, like something inside me told me it was going to happen. But I didn't know when or who. I ain't had that feeling in years. In years. We've had Granite Shaka at this, at this team for years. And he's only just started producing. You lot know how I felt about this guy for years. And no one can't tell me my, 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 my feelings weren't granted, weren't, weren't, weren't permissible, weren't true. Because the guy was dog shit. Let's call it how it is. Let's not, let's not be afraid to say it because things are going well now. Guy was dog shit. I didn't know what he was good at. But he's found what he's good at. And we praise him. And we love him for that now. We love him for that. We support him. No one can never tell me I don't support my team. I travel across the country for this team. What are you talking about? I support this team. The players. The managers. But when things are when things aren't when things are bleak, call it how it is. Like I said, a lot of the things are in real time. Do you know what I'm saying? But in all of the madness yesterday, we forgot Ben White has bagged his first goal. We forgot Partey's bagged another goal. Important goals. Reese Nelson. Because he's gonna get all the all the all the uh all the praise and rightfully so. But a lot of things happened yesterday that went under the radar. Went under the radar. Ben White, what a goal. I, I looked at it, I, I watched the replay, and I'm like, that was a diff that wasn't even a chance. That wasn't even a chance. But he came on and he done his thing. Like, I'm still learning about these guys. I'm still learning. I know they, I know my club. I know the owners and I know how the club operates. Like, I, I'll make no secret of, secret of it. We, in the transfer window, we looked like we was going to go some, get a certain kind of player. Ended up with a certain kind of player. These are what, this, the, 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 these are the traits of our club. And it's frustrating. But we are in a good place right now, so I, I get behind it. But the PTSD is still there. I'm not going to lie to you. The PTSD is still there. However, what these boys are showing me, they're showing traits 
of past champions. You saw we see City do it time and time again. You saw when Liverpool won it. You saw when Leicester when Leicester won it. These are traits. These traits are not coincidence. It's not luck. These things are happening because that's what champions do. You can tell me I'm I'm, I'm premature ejaculating. You can say whatever you say whatever you say whatever you want. But I'm telling you this now. I'm telling you this now. I'm putting it out there. For all you, oh, it's very negative. For, I'm putting it out there. These are the traits of champions. Like City are under pressure. Don't 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 get it twisted. When that goal went in yesterday, yeah, City must City and United fans and all the other haters must have been like, what the fuck? They actually gonna win this? They won't say it. They'll, they'll do all their little trolling of, oh, I was only born with, ah, ah, da, 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 da. ah, uh, uh, um, the elephant's still going to fall off the tree. Ah, you're going to bottle it. Bruv, they've been talking about bottling it since November. We're not in March. They're trolling out of fear, people. They are trolling out of fear. They know they can't keep quiet, so they have to say something. They are scared. Because they see the traits. Yes, it's Bournemouth. Yes, we should have built a goal difference. Who gives a shit? Three points is all that matters at the end of the day. Yeah? This league, we've seen what we've seen what the likes of Bournemouth and all those other teams down below can do. Goddamn, Chelsea won yesterday. All these bottom teams, like you, you see what they can do. So not nothing's for granted. Nothing's for granted. But, yeah, man, Ben White, I was, I, I was happy for him. That's his first goal. Like, m majority of our, our, our team, our, of our players have scored this season. That is another trait. Goals are coming from everywhere. Everywhere. But anyway, that's all, that, that's all I wanted to get to. But like I said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Listen, follow me on Insta if you're not doing it already. BH underscore stricto so that b for big h for homie underscore stricto i'm out